Von Gerg's disease. This is the most uh, frequently asked clinical based essay question in most of the university exams. So it is a must know topic in biochemistry. First, we will see how exactly the question is framed in a clinical manner. Uh, so a seven year old boy with distended abdomen was irritable, lethargic, frequently hungry and history revealed that his developmental milestones were comparatively slow and clinical examination showed enlarged liver. That is this patient has hepato hepatomegaly in addition with a distended abdomen, irritability, lethargy and frequently hungry. This is the point that uh, should be noted and uh, investigations are fasting blood sugar is 40 milligram per deciliter which is comparatively low that is reveals that the, this patient is having hypoglycemia that is spe specifically fasting hypoglycemia and ketone bodies are 5 milligram per deciliter which are increased so there is a ketoacidosis and the serum cholesterol is 300 milligram per deciliter which is also elevated that is hypercholesterolemia serum uric acid is also elevated so this patient is having hyper uricemia and there is lactic acid which is 15 milligram per deciliter which is also elevated causing lactic acidosis and pH is 7.25 which is also signifying that this patient is having acidosis and there was no increase in blood glucose even after adrenaline injection so that this patient is frequently having hypoglycemic episodes. Now what is the probable diagnosis is hypoglycemia, hyperuricemia, hepatomegaly, lactic acidosis all these point towards von Gerg's disease. All the features that are given in this particular clinical case point towards this von Gerg's disease. What is the enzyme defect? The enzyme defect is glucose 6 phosphatase. Glucose 6 phosphatase is the enzyme that is deficient in these uh, patients and uh, interpret and explain biochemical basis of the lab findings in this case. Now in this uh, particular question you will have to explain all the uh, lab features that are given here and you will have to explain the biochemical basis how this patient is getting hypoglycemia, why there is hypercholesterolemia, why there is hyperuricemia, lactic acidosis and acidosis. Uh, question may also contain uh, right in detail about glycogen metabolism which contains glycogen degradation and synthesis along with they may ask you about high hormonal regulation of glycogen so entire glycogen metabolism can be asked when a clinical question on von Gerg's disease is asked so we will see how to interpret and explain we have already interpreted so we will explain the biochemical basis of lab findings in this case now firstly why this patient is having fasting hypoglycemia so this is a glycogen storage disease type 1 and uh, this is von Gerg's disease and this is the common type of glycogen storage disorder and incidence is 1 in 1 lakh live births as we have seen the enzyme that is deficient is glucose 6 phosphatase. So there is block in the formation of glucose in the liver by glycogenolysis especially during the glycogen degradation pathway the formation of glucose is inhibited and clinical manifestations these patients will be having fasting hypoglycemia, lactic acidosis, hyperlipidemia and hyperuricemia. We will see uh, how this patient is having all these clinical manifestations. Fasting hypoglycemia and lactic acidosis. So glycogen degradation, the glycogen with the help of the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase is broken down into glucose 1 phosphate. Now this glucose 1 phosphate is uh, further converted into glucose 6 phosphate by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase. This is the glycogen degradation pathway. Now, this glucose 6 phosphate in the liver, uh, in the presence of the enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase, is converted into glucose, especially in liver because in muscle this particular enzyme is absent. And so, in liver, so in these patients, this glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme is absent. So, this conversion of glucose 6 phosphate to glucose does not occur so as a result these patients will be having hypoglycemia this is what is hypoglycemia so what is the other pathway uh, that happens is the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into pyruvate with the help of the uh, 
metabolic pathway that is glycolysis which is again converted into lactate so this is how the lactate gets accumulated in these patients causing lactic acidosis so glucose 6 phosphate is not converted into glucose because of the absence of the enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase causing fasting hypoglycemia and also because of the activation of this pathway where the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into pyruvate which is further converted into lactate resulting in accumulation of lactate causing lactic acidosis and because there is no glucose available for energy there will be mobilization of fats for energy which causes hyperlipidemia which is the biochemical basis this patient is having cholesterol level of 300 mg per deciliter so that is why because glucose is not available fat stores they get mobilized which increases the cholesterol level in the circulation hyperuricemia this this pathway is not active in these patients because of the absence of the enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase so this accumulated glucose 6 phosphate is again diverted to another pathway which is hmp shunt hexose monophosphate shunt pathway which in turn causes increased purine production hmp shunt is the only source for production of ribose and nadph through which you see the production of purine nucleotides and this purine nucleotides are further degraded to form uric acid so uric acid is nothing but it is the end product of purine catabolism so when more and more purines are product produced they undergo more and more catabolism which ultimately result in production of more and more uric acid which is the result of hyperuricemia in these patients hyperuricemia is because of diversion of glucose 6 phosphate to hmp shunt ultimately resulting in more purine nucleotide production causing increased uric acid production so this glycogen gets deposited in the liver glycogen does not get degraded because of the absence of the enzyme which is ultimately causing hepatomegaly the massive enlargement of the liver is because of calcareous deposition of glycogen in the liver and this ultimately may lead to cirrhosis children usually die in early childhood and the treatment for von gerg's disease is to give small quantity of food at frequent intervals so this is how a clinical question for von gerg's disease can be asked and the clinical features that is or lab investigations that is hypoglycemia hyperuricemia lactic acidosis and hypercholesterolemia and hepatomegaly are explained biochemically the biochemical basis of clinical features are explained in this manner thank you